Hey guys, welcome to the Superhero Cut Show, where we're talking things Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. It is Deadpool week. We are so happy to be recording with you guys. As I was talking about yesterday, uh, we are we are recording on the day of, but we're going to talk about it like we're, like we're going to record today. Yesterday was the red carpet for Deadpool. Shout out to, uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds showing up with his wife, Blake Lively, Hugh Jackman. He was in the house, all black suit. Um, Feige, Feige has been doing so many interviews we're going to be breaking all of that down tonight every single thing that kevin feige has talked about we are going to break down in regards to deadpool and wolverine the x-men the, the eternals we're going to break all that down but right now we want to talk about a rumor that's been going around about daphne keen about x-23 and so the rumor is that x-23 will take the spot of wolverine in the x-men in the mcu so Daph so Daphne Keene, right? We all know that she's a beloved actress, mostly because of what she did in Logan, okay? Logan was basically the final Wolverine film in the Fox U universe, and it is, you know, regarded as, as it is re regarded as one of the greatest comic book films ever. I'm not going to get Jerry fired up, but him and I both agree that, 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 that we think that movie is very overrated, but topic for another day. Um, now, with Deadpool and Wolverine coming back out, and the fact that we get to see Daphne and, and the fact that we got to see Daphne Keene in the trailer, which I think shouldn't have been shown in the trailer, but this just shows that the cameos that are about to come is about to be insane if they're going to drop her in the trailer. Um, there has been a lot of questions about her future for her being in the MCU. There has been a lot of questions because of the fact that, you know, Kevin Feige has said that the MCU era starts now, which has made people think that X-23 is a part of this, like, era. And this has opened a question that's been going around on X and Reddit and Instagram. And the question is, will X-23 be the Wolverine for the MCU? Now, I could see why people could think this, right, bro? Because in the comics, she's sometimes on, on the X-Men team. And... And, you know, also with the, the fact that Hugh Jackman is in his 60s and if, you know, <clears throat> paired with the fact that people view Wolverine as a uncastable role, if Hugh Jackman calls it quits, I can see people thinking that X-23 would be his replacement. Now, I do not agree with this at all, mostly because, you know, Feige said that he said to Hugh Jackman after filming this film, like, what's next? So it is obviously, you know looked at that Hugh Jackman will be strongly involved with the future of the X-Men and the MCU for this time uh, being, even if Hugh Jackman w w was not, I just think that like Wolverine is such a big character that they would recast him because, you know, Wolverine is the most popular X-Men of all time. Um, and so I just don't really agree with that, with that take at all of X-23 just replacing wolverine could i see her on the x-men team could i see her accompanying some some of the young like avengers like if there's like a little project with like shuri and like all of them okay cool but i don't see i don't see a world where she can fill the role of wolverine on on us on a x-men team in the mcu i just don't see that being possible and i don't think fans would like that so jerry how do you uh feel about that Rumor. Listen, I am not opposed to X-23. I think that there is a place for a character like her. I think she adds a lot of value to action scenes. But the fact that anyone is saying that she could take Wolverine, fill the role of Wolverine in the MCU is absolutely bonkers. I mean... Wolverine is one of the core, like, staple, top of the top Marvel characters. A lot of people would put him in their top five. A lot of people would even say he's their number one. And he, he might be on my top five, by the way. I'm a big Wolverine guy. Um, you know, I grew up with the X-Men animated series in the 90s. I uh, grew up with the Fox X-Men movies. So I'm very much a Wolverine fan. Um, you know, I love Wolverine comics. Uh, it's funny. I was actually just reading one before we got on. You know, and, and the thing about Wolverine that makes him so special is that aside from the obvious that he has suffered an immense amount of trauma and hardship over and over and over again that leads him to be this you know 
rugged and also he's like and he's like a rugged animal due to you know his mutation uh the the trauma the history and then on top of that with the adamantium but what people also are not realizing if they're saying something like that is he adds a different type of character to not just the x-men but the marvel as a whole you know with someone like Wolverine, you get someone who is a military vet and a more Rust Belt country type of character. And that is super popular in today's day and age. You know, shows like Yellowstone are super high performers. People love country music. There is like a real movement that's kind of, you know, going back to appreciating country and Rust Belt like culture. And there is really, I don't think anyone else like that in Marvel's character or, you know, archive. I don't think they have anyone else that does fit that role. And if they do, they don't do it nearly as good as Wolverine. And Wolverine is just too, he's too, also too popular and too iconic of a character for the MCU to not have. And uh that's not to say there isn't a place for someone like x23 but wolverine is way too significant and if you're gonna do the mutants and the x-men which they are you have to have wolverine and, and there it's just a non-negotiable and anyone who says otherwise they have no credibility period yeah. remember in age of ultron when cap ripped the freaking wouldn't in half when he was getting mad at us that tony that was crazy bro that so was crazy i was thinking of just country lumberjack you know, that, that was yeah. yeah and also but, hulk yeah. and hulk you could kind of say but he doesn't fill that role the way logan no. does no no not, not at all not at all um but yeah so but yeah bro i agree with everything you say man i mean look we love x23 we really just talking about her we think x23 is great but like and i'm i, I wouldn't even be opposed to seeing her at 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 the mansion and her accompanying her, even being on missions i would not be against that but to think that there's going to be no logan come on now that that's a, that's a stupid idea not yeah. to mention with x-men 97 you know they may wolverine take that back back seat but he's about to get a lot of attention because we're about to see some feral uh wolverine so you know let's let's slow down let's slow, let's really and slow down there and it's important to diversify the spotlight for characters like Cyclops and, you know, but that, that doesn't mean give Wolverine a backseat in, in, in the grand scheme of things. 100%, 100%. So, yeah, guys, that's all we that's all we really wanted to, to talk about with, uh, you know, just the X-23. But we are excited to see her in the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. We hope she suits up. We hope she suits up. Uh, that'll be... Uh, really awesome to see man i think she will so we will see you guys tonight on our podcast please jump on tonight at 8 30 we will be there sharp and we're going to be going crazy tonight so have a great day y'all and enjoy your day and peace out please like subscribe and ring the no notification bell. we're almost at 12 at 1200 or yeah i think it's 1200 is it? yeah yeah we're almost at 1200 so please subscribe we're at 199 peace